Well, welcome back, folks. How is everyone doing? Hmm? All I can tell you is, oh my God, when does it ever end? When do we get out of the people? We've been here for so long. That's what I used to say when I was growing up, going to my place of worship, known as the Kingdom Hall. Separate from temples, separate from shrines, separate, separate from mosques, separate from temples and churches. It was in its own category. They crammed me with so much information, so much knowledge, that I couldn't wait to get out of there. It was just... They overloaded me with information. It was an information overload. But you know what? The hard work paid off in the long run. Okay? Sitting there through all those grueling hours for about two hours every Thursday night, every week. About a couple of hours Sunday morning. But that's the thing about it, folks. When do we ever have Sabbath anymore? I mean, the Jews, the Israelites used to have a Sabbath where they take one day a week off of work and they just don't work. They do hardly anything. I mean, they take care of their responsibilities like they're supposed to, but they just don't work laboriously, you know. So when do we ever do that anymore? We should. We give us a break. We need our rest. We need our sleep. So, I'd like to introduce to you what we're going to talk about today, about singing, music, and making melody. It is approved by our, our God, Jehovah. Okay? So, to first off, we can look up some scriptures. I'm not going to read every one of them, all right? But you can look them up in your own time. But these are some very entertaining scriptures that you can look up about singing and making melody to our God, having festivals, not dirty festivals, but you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Ephesians 5, 19 and 20. 19 and 20. First Kings chapter 4, verse 32. Psalm, Psalm chapter 137. Stanza 3, Job, chapter 35, verses 9 and 10, 9 and 10, Amos, A-M-O-S, chapter 6, verse 5, Psalm, chapter 149, Stanza 6, Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 16, same book of the Bible, Chapter 38, verse 20. Second Samuel, chapter 23, verses 1 and 2. Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 20. Now that one, you could say, it's sort of like the blues, writing a blues song to bring us out of our gloomy days. So here's the one point section of scripture where Jehovah says you must not sing. Sometimes they're not the right time to make music. Sometimes they're not the right time to sing. But generally speaking, you do want to do that. Okay, here's the first one where you don't want to sing or make melody. Ezekiel chapter 26 verse 13. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 63. Amos chapter 5, verse 23. That's A M O S. Isaiah chapter 16, verse 10. Job chapter 30, verse 9. Isaiah chapter 23, verse 16. Psalm chapter 78, stanza. 63. Uh, now, what would be one time in the modern day and age where you would not want to make melody or sing? Well, I can tell you one of them. This is July 4th weekend. Tomorrow will be July 2nd on Sunday. Today is July 1st. The national anthem or any nationalistic songs of 
the local country, that would be a form of idolatry. That would be the time not to think. We're not here to think to our governments. We're here to think to our God. Whatever you believe his name is, I believe his name is Jehovah. Really, we should come into the agreement that our God's name is Jehovah. Our creator's name is Jehovah. And we need to make melody to him. We will make him rejoice. Now, the second thought along the lines. There's so much good information coming up tomorrow. If you were to attend a local Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses on Sunday tomorrow, you'll find out we get encouragement from our upbuilding comments. Remember, so many good points out there. I won't say too much, but remember not to say too much so that you can leave room for the other person to express their faith. All right, there's a good scripture in Philippians, okay? And uh, if you read the briefing magazine called The Watch Shower, that's used at the local kingdom halls all over the earth, no matter what language you said, to find out what scripture I'm talking about in Philippians. But uh, so many good points in there and so many ways to handle receiving comments, you know. Not only do we receive counsel on how to make comments, but on how to make people feel welcome. What not to say, not to promote a negative atmosphere, you know. But like I said, I won't say too much. But if you could go there tomorrow, that would be great. That would be your opportunity to make your Sabbath. Take a day off of work to take a rest, okay? So, coming this July 4th weekend, what are you going to do here in the U.S.? If you're here in the U.S., Remember Daniel chapter 7, verse 8, about the small one or the small horn. Ah, uh, thank you, Scott. Well, look what Scott brought me. Very entertaining, a gift. Rock star energy drinks. Right in the middle of my sermon or whatever. I didn't mean to make a commercial. That's okay, my old buddy. Kind of losing it, but anyway, that was very nice of him. That was a wonderful gift from him to do that. But like I said, um, we got to be careful what we say and do. We don't want to cause it offense. We want to make sure we don't offend our God. Show we need to have a healthy fear of Him, not a morbid fear of Him. He has some redoubtable qualities. So sometimes they wonder whether his redoubtable qualities are morbid or healthy. Alrighty then. So what other scriptures could I give you to look up on your own time? Let's see here. You know, the Jehovah God is the true God and he is alive. If you read these scriptures, it will bring it to life for you. Even if you don't believe that he's there, it's, you know, infrared light, UV rays, things undetected by the naked human eye. We know they're there, but it takes a while to recognize that it does exist. So we have no way of scientifically detecting Jehovah other than the creation seen around us. But uh, let's see here. How about this? Will Jehovah answer your prayers or your question? Look these up. Psalm 77, stanza 237. Psalm 66, stanzas 18 and 19. Psalm 10, verse 14. Psalm 12, stanza 5. Psalm 145, stanza 14. Zechariah 2, 13. Like I said before, and Jehovah is our strength. And you'll find that in Psalm 59, stanza 17. Okay, remember what Psalm 154 through 8 says? That the idols that we talked about can neither see, nor hear, nor feel, nor taste, or anything. They're completely unconscious, and anybody venerating those will become just like them. All right, well, should God Jehovah can see in here. Psalm 94, Psalm 94, stands at 9 through 11. 
same book of the Bible, 96, Daniel says 4 through 8. Chapter 115, 4 through 8. It's not about a guy Jehovah, but about the idols. All right. And the kind of loving God, Jehovah, is so fair with all of us. Look up Psalm 130, James 3, and 141, James 3 and 4. Jehovah command by his own breath. Job 4 verse 9. Psalm 80, James 16. Job 33, 16 through 18. The James Chapter 36, James 12 in Job. Chapter 37, verse 10 in Job. Isaiah. 1 verses 19 and 20. 19 and 20. Romans 2 verse 8. Is Jehovah quick to anger? Well, read this one. Psalm chapter 2, stanza 12. Psalm chapter 78, stanza 38. Chapter 103, stanza 8. All right. So, let me see what else I can find here. I know there is something else related to that. Let me look in my book of notes. You know how I said before, Jehovah can reconsider his decision? Well, I brought that out in another video. It's very easy to reference according to the title. Uh-huh. Jehovah our God is tolerating no rivalry. Idols turned into latrine, tolerating no rivalry. Second Kings chapter ten, verses sixteen and seventeen, and twenty six and twenty seven. Numbers chapter twenty five eleven. All right. Book of the words of Jehovah. They can be found in Numbers chapter twenty one, verse fourteen. First Samuel eighteen, verse seventeen. But remember, Jehovah is the God of love. He's not a God of war. Might be a spiritual warfare, but not a God of war. Remember this. He's the God of love first and foremost. All right. Remember when I was talking about how we're of a different sort. Everybody comes from different sorts, different classes. Look up First John 2.19. Remember those who are not of our sort. All right. What else can I give you there? Uh, how about the blazing, scorching heat from Jehovah as a protection? First Kings chapter nineteen verses nine through fifteen. Second Samuel chapter twenty-two verses nine and thirteen. Alrighty then. Well. That's about all for right now. Remember, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't like or comment, please subscribe. I have about 3,300 and some odd viewers out there, not just in the U.S. alone, but in other countries like the Philippines. Mostly the Philippines, mostly women. Between the age groups of 24 and 35, I believe. Second day is 35 and 44. Thank you very much. And a little bit from the 18 to 24 year olds, okay? Well, thank you for all viewing. If I could get at least a thousand of you, 3,500 viewers to subscribe to my channel, that would be excellent. I hope I helped you out enough. If you could return the favor, I'd like to see a lot of hits with the subscription. So, Please subscribe to my channel. Like and comment. Let me know you're there. Let me know if there's any question I can answer for you. If I haven't done so already. Bye now.